Hello and welcome back to my channel where I am a futurist and this is my journal. So I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, before we begin, go ahead and give this video a like. Go ahead and comment, subscribe, share with your friends. And let's just, let's just hop right into it. So, you know, the Super Bowl was this past weekend and I was watching with my family and enjoying. And then I started going around, you know, TikTok, uh, TikTok, Twitter. And I saw something very interesting. People have been saying that Tom Brady is a racist for winning the Super Bowl in February. I'm just a little confused because, all right, so you know what? I had to do some research. I had to make sure that I wasn't tripping because maybe I was missing something. Perhaps I was confused. So I went back and I looked. I looked at all the dates of, you know, the Super Bowl. And, and what I found was that every single Super Bowl is played on the first Sunday of February. Now, from my understanding, and I don't have the specific date in front of me, but Black History Month is in February, has been for, for years. So why is it that this February, it's racist, but last February, it's not? If you actually understand this this logic, then please feel free to let me know. Hit me up with a comment. Hit me up with a DM. Something. Explain to this. Because I'm a little confused here. It doesn't really make much sense to me. It just seems like we're fishing here. Like, why, what, what are we doing? Is nothing sacred? Is nothing, is nothing untouched? Is nothing boundaryless? from these social justice warriors, these people with the, with warped logic, it doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't make any sense. So Tom Brady is a racist for playing football and making it to the Super Bowl, which is the aspiration of every single NFL player from my understanding, or at least should be, to make it competitive. Which is why we watch, which is why we have fantasy football leagues. It just doesn't make any sense to me. So now all of a sudden he's a racist for winning the Super Bowl, his seventh Super Bowl, which is impressive, right? Greatest quarterback of all time. His seventh Super Bowl. I mean, the, the, do you just not want any sports? I mean, what do you want? Like, actually, what what do you want? These people are never satisfied. So you give them an inch, they will take it a mile. That's what that's what we're seeing. Go check out my last video where I'm talking about how female sports are completely ruined at this point because of the executive um, executive order that Joe Biden enacted um, not too long ago. It just doesn't make any sense to me. So what now? Now what? No football games are allowed to be played in February. No basketball games are allowed to be played in February. Or is it the fact that he's a white quarterback? I don't, I'm not understanding this. So we lessen our argument, you know, that certain things or certain systems are racist by spewing foolishness. That's completely and utterly foolish. I, I, I'm baffled. Admittedly, I'm baffled. I thought that with the impeachment coming up, that we just kind of talk about the impeachment trials and all that kind of nonsense. But no, we're focused on talking about how Tom Brady winning um the super bowl you know that makes him a racist now is it because he beat patrick mahomes is that it is it because he is bi-ethnic um you know the jim crow rules that if you have one person black and you're black so it's the fact that he's black and then he was beat by a white quarterback still it's still stupid it's stupid here you know, instead of celebrating the fact that we're allowed to play in the National Football League and all the, and we're ingratiated in society, I'm not saying that there are not issues nor problems. I'm not saying that at all. Far from it. There are still there is systemic racism. There are problems and there are issues that need to be addressed and talked about. But it, it's in addition to all this whole Black Lives Matter movement. And I'm not talking about Black Lives actually mattering because they do. Black lives do matter, just like. You know, yellow lives matter, just like, you know, all lives truly do matter. Now, I'm not trying to be controversial here, but at the same point in time, but it's the whole BLM organization and their, their communist ties. That's the issue here. And then it kind of, because communism is, it's a break in logic, doesn't make any sense, logically speaking. And I'm not really here to discuss that. All I'm, all I'm really trying to say is that can we just, for one second, not make everything political? A football game really shouldn't be political. 
All right. And I know this is kind of sounds, you know, ironic and, you know, contradictory, maybe even hypocritical of me to say that based off of the my previous videos. But I actually don't like politics. It's necessary to talk about, it's necessary to understand and, and to discuss, but I don't like politics and I don't like it for this reason because now everything becomes a political statement when it shouldn't be. A football game should just be a football game. Okay? You know, Tom Brady winning winning the um uh, winning the Super Bowl is an accomplishment. It's impressive. We should we should clap, you know, and, and if, if you were rooting for um, San Francisco, all right, then be disappointed. Um, no, excuse me. If you're rooting for uh, Kansas City, then, you know, you should be disappointed, and that's all right. But at the same point in time, it's a game. A game. It's a game. All right, so can we chill out? Can we relax a little bit? Take a deep breath? And put down the phone. See, I think Twitter is a cancer. It is cancer. Absolute stage four cancer. And the people who are on Twitter, these Twitter warriors and social justice warriors, I think they're cancer. They are absolutely cancer. They infect everything. They are a growth that just needs to be cut off. Because uh, it's just ridiculous. Because, because now we're... We're wasting time and energy on things that don't matter. All right, we're wasting time and energy on 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 silly arguments. I have rational people, people. I have um, people in academia. People, um, and I'll, I'll I'll try to link the um, the thread, in um, you know to this video, just so you can see. I have respectable people, you know, respectable people in society who are coming out with this foolishness. It's just the break of, of logic and intelligence. It just doesn't make any sense here. So uh, that's all I have for the video. I was just really stunned by that. Um, I'll probably cover what's going on with the impeachment trial a little bit later um, this week or maybe even tomorrow. Who knows with, with all the drama that's going to go on. But um, yeah, that, that's pretty much all I have. So if you like this video, if you enjoyed it, please um, like it. Please feel free to comment. Seriously, I really don't understand it. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm the one who's not getting it. Maybe I'm the the foolish one. Who knows? Um, maybe I'm maybe I'm stupid. I don't know. I don't get it. So if you do actually understand it, please feel free to DM me or you know leave a comment below and I'll read it and I'll, I'll respond to it because I really don't get it. Um, so again, please you know leave a like, comment, share, um, and don't forget to subscribe and to turn on post notifications. But most importantly, friends, stay awake because woke isn't working. Because if, if this is woke, clearly it isn't working. This is just foolishness. So thank you so much, guys. Please stay safe. Cheers.